Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share a dream I had some years ago on January 1st, 2019 about America. I was reminded again to this dream since last week when I shared about the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. I should have shared this dream last week but the time was not enough so I will share it today. I feel this dream has a message for America and also for us as believers of Jesus. I also got some confirmations this week to share this dream. In the dream, I was watching a quiz show on television, and then the MC of this quiz show gave a question like this. What is the religion of most Americans? The sentence appeared clearly on the TV screen like we can see here in this image or picture. I also saw some answer options available at the bottom of the screen, and then I tried to guess the answer of that question. I thought most Americans are Christians and they will go to Pentecostal or Charismatic Mega Church, so I chose I choose the answer Charismatic. I saw there was also the second answer option written in two words, but I didn't understand the meaning of these words, so I didn't choose it. But lately I knew my answer was not correct. The MC said the answer is not charismatic. I was surprised when the MC said the correct answer is the second option. That was the two words that I didn't understand. These two words were written not in English but in my language, and they form an unusual or strange words and have no meaning. I never heard these words before, but if I translate these words separately in English, it means empty foundation. Still in the dream, when I pondering the meaning of these words, I saw another word appeared. The word was potter or pottery. And the dream ended and I woke up. When I woke up, I still could remember this dream clearly. The first word means empty, blank, meaningless or faint. The second word is an engineering term, refers to a kind of building foundation. I tried to search the picture of this meaning of this word from the internet, the picture is like this. So if we put the question and the answer together, the sentence will be like this. What is the religion of most Americans? It is empty foundation. I know this dream or message will offend many people. Brothers and sisters, I only share the dream exactly like what I saw or heard. I won't twist or change the message just to make us feel comfortable. After having this dream, I was uncertain whether to share it or not, but then during that month, I got some confirmations. The confirmation of the first words, Empty Foundation, was a video from, from Pastor Neville Johnson. I saw the word Foundation Stone. It is said that the foundation of the church and Christian's life should be the teaching of Jesus. It led me to the Sermon on the Mount at, that Jesus preached, and it is written in Matthew chapter 5-7. Brothers and sisters can read it in more detail later, now I will only read the title of it. I feel it is very important for us to learn and apply this teaching of Jesus in our daily lives. The title is Introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. It's including the Beatitudes, Salt and Light, Fulfillment of the Law, Murder, Adultery, divorce, oaths, eye to eye, love your love for enemies, giving to the needy, prayer, fasting, treasures in heaven, do not worry, judging others, ask, seek and knock, the narrow and wide gates true and false prophets, true and false disciples, and the wise and the foolish builders. Let us read, brothers and sisters, from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27, the wise and foolish builders. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. 
The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, it, and it fell with a great crash. And the second word I saw in this dream is potter or pottery. The confirmation is from a video that I watched that led me to a scripture in Jeremiah 18. Let us read verses and sisters from Jeremiah 18 verses 5 to 12. Then the word of the Lord came to me. He said, Can I not do with you Israel as this potter does, declares the Lord? Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. If at any time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down, and destroyed, and if that nation I warn repents of its evil, then I will relent and not inflict on it the disaster I had planned. And if at another time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be built up and planted, and if it does evil in my sight and does not obey me, then I will reconsider the good I had intended to do for it. Now therefore say to the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, This is what the Lord says, Look, I am preparing a disaster for you and devising a plan against you. So turn from your evil ways, each one of you, and reform your ways and your actions. But they will reply, It is no use. We will continue with our own plans. We will all follow the stubbornness of our evil hearts. The soul brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming soon. Let us be ready. Keep watching and praying. Repent from sins. Live in holiness and build a relationship with Jesus in prayers, in His word, praise and worship Him. Put His words into practice in our daily life. I hope this dream and message can encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all brothers and sisters and thank you for listening. Bye.